Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. The Miami Dolphins and quarterback Tua turned the ball over have officially agreed to a new contract extension. The Miami Dolphins and Tua Tagovailoa agreed to a four-year $212 million deal with $167 million fully guaranteed, making Tua Tagovailoa one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. He is now getting $53.1 million per season making him the third highest paid quarterback in the NFL on a year-by-year -year basis right behind Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow who are getting $55 million per season. So the Miami Dolphins get their franchise quarterback extended for the long-term future and Tua gets what he wants in his money. And now he will be on the Dolphins for another five seasons, four years on this contract in the one year that he's currently going to be playing on this fifth year option. And this quarterback market and inflation thing is just ridiculous right now because Tua and Jared Goff are two of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL while Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen are at number 10 and number 11 on the highest paid quarterbacks on a year by year basis. Basically their contracts outside from rookie contracts are the best ones in the league. Now another stat that came from this which I found really insane is that while Tua Tagvaloa is getting 53 million per season. Hall of Fame quarterback Dan Marino, who's arguably one of the best quarterbacks of all time, and by far the Dolphins' best quarterback in their franchise history, Dan Marino made $51 million in his entire career, while Tua's average salary on a year-by-year -year basis is $53 million. That is just ridiculously absurd. But both sides were able to get a deal done. After a long offseason of will they get an extension done, will Tua hold out, will the Dolphins pay him what he wants, what happens if they don't pay Tua, will they draft someone, will they trade for someone, and this has been going on all offseason, and this contract negotiation has been one of the main talking points of the entire offseason, which is why this is one of the biggest news stories to come out of this whole entire offseason. And it comes just a little more than a month away from the week one game where the Miami Dolphins will be playing the Jacksonville Jaguars in their season opener. These talks and negotiations got so bad to a point where Tua was holding out from training camp. He only participated in some stuff. Some people will call it holding in where you go to the facility for the meetings and the film breakdowns but you won't practice. And that's essentially hoarding in. Basically, Tua was doing that. He's only doing minimal activities and participating to a certain degree. And earlier this offseason at OTAs, Tua was not there again. But it is something to definitely note. Then he was there at mandatory minicamps, which was actually pretty significant. And the reason Tua just signed this huge mega deal is due to such an inflated quarterback market. And earlier this offseason, the Lions gave Jared Goff a huge contract extension of $212 million with $170 million guaranteed for four years. And also Trevor Lawrence got a huge extension from the Jacksonville Jaguars worth $275 million for five seasons with $200 million fully guaranteed. So those contracts set up the market for Tua Tagovailoa to get this kind of contract and on top of that, he also had quarterbacks all around the league over the last few seasons just getting huge contracts, which is why the market is what it is at the moment. But now you have these mid quarterbacks being paid more than Lamar Jackson, the MVP, Patrick Mahomes, a three time Super Bowl winner, and Josh Allen, the second best quarterback in the NFL. And earlier this offseason, when Tua was asked about the contract situation and what the market is, he just said, look, the market is what the market is, and that's going to dictate his asking price. He's not going to ask for something that he feels is worth less than him if he feels he's better than both Jared Goff and Trevor Lawrence and they're getting paid 50 million a season, he's going to want more than them. He's not going to value his he's not going to lower his number based off of the team. He's going to he's going to have his number at where the market is and where he feels he is compared to those guys and where he values himself. And while this is a ridiculous number and I think it's a huge overpay, this is somewhat good for the Miami Dolphins to get this deal done right now because at some point Dak Prescott is going to be getting a huge contract extension from the Dallas Cowboys or if he hits free agency he's going to get a contract extension worth 55 million or more from some team so to get that done before Dak was smart and also Jordan Love is holding in from the Green Bay Packers right now as he's looking for a contract extension Adam Schefter said he could possibly be the highest paid quarterback in NFL history by the end of this week so we'll keep an eye on that situation as well 
So for the Dolphins to get this contract done with Tua before those two guys signed their contracts was very smart. And this could have led into next offseason where Brock Purdy could possibly get $60 million per season. He's due for a huge contract extension with the San Francisco 49ers. So while this is a huge, huge, huge overpay for Tua, they paid him what the market is. And when you compare it to other contracts that are going to possibly be ha happening within the next few months or within the next year, this is probably not that bad of a contract. His teammate and his favorite wide receiver Tyreek Hill seemed pretty happy about the contract extension as after it was announced and reported that Tua signed this mega deal, he took to Twitter and just had a smiley face emoji posted it. He's been vouching for Tua to get his contract extension, he's vouched for Tua as a top 5 quarterback in the NFL and Tua gets his money and Tyreek Hill who's had his best years in his NFL career with Tua is happy and look don't get it wrong Tua is a good quarterback he's in the upper half of the league when it comes to quarterback play last year i'm pretty sure he led the league in passing yards with 4600 passing yards through 29 touchdowns and had a 101.1 passer rating led the miami dolphins to the playoffs two years in a row actually under mike mcdaniels he's been one of the better quarterbacks in the nfl and has led one of the better offenses in general around the league Despite all of this though, I still don't think he was worth this kind of money, but that's just what the market is. That's where he values himself. That's where the Miami Dolphins valued him and they got it done. And it is funny to think though that literally half a year ago, Tua put up one of the worst playoff performances in recent history and now he's getting paid 200 million. But now with Tua paid, Jalen Waddle got a huge contract extension this offseason. Tyreek Hill is paid. They could possibly do a contract restructure with him to make him the highest paid receiver in the NFL. And while the Dolphins do have some contract extensions to get done this upcoming offseason in Javon Holland and Jalen Phillips, the Miami Dolphins now have their core offense and their biggest players extended as they continue to look to compete and be Super Bowl contenders now that they have their quarterback extended long term and they have their star weapons in Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill under one of the most exciting offensive play callers in the league and Mike McDaniel. But it will be a tricky road ahead for them to be Super Bowl contenders because they're in a division where the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets will be contending and playoff contenders. They're in a conference with some of the best teams in the NFL and the best quarterbacks in the NFL in CJ Stroud, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow. There is a lot of competition in the AFC and the Dolphins are going to have to really step up their game and Tua is going to be better on the road and in the cold weather if they want to make the Super Bowl and be contenders and that's exactly what the Miami Dolphins are paying him to do. He needs to be better but he got his extension and now he's looking to win some playoff games and get to the Super Bowl. Subscribe to my channel Cash Sports for more daily NFL content. Have a good one. Peace.